Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In continuation to our previous videos where we were discussing about security roles, how you can assign them to users and teams. Well, in this video, we are going to talk about another concept in Dynamics 365, which is hierarchy security. Uh, which is especially used for record level access. It's not enabled by default, so you actually have to enable it to be able to use it. And in this video, we are also going to discuss about how many models are there in hierarchy security and how you can configure them. So keep watching and stay tuned. If you have been watching the video series, by now you must be aware of security roles, user security roles, team security roles, and how it works in case of multiple security roles are applied to either user or team. Now there's another good concept called hierarchy security in Dynamics 365, which helps you to extend the security to the record level. Now let's just have a look at some of the points of hierarchy security in Dynamics 365. Hierarchy security allows you to extend the security model to provide record level access. It does not replace the existing security model. So it just helps you to extend the security model, but does not replace it. Hierarchy security works on roles and the position that you hold in your organization. So for example, you may hold position like VP sales, sales manager, salesperson, etc. And that works in combination with the relationship within them. So for example, a salesperson might report to sales manager and the sales manager would be reporting to VP sales and VP sales might be reporting the CEO of the organization. So based on what role you have in the organization, the security is defined. Hierarchy security needs to be enabled to make it work. So it's not enabled by default, you have to enable it. And there are two types of hierarchy security, manager hierarchy or position hierarchy. So let's discuss a little more about manager and position hierarchy. So first the manager hierarchy. Now manager hierarchy works on manager field, which is available on the user entity. It means that you need to define a manager for each user to be able to provide a record level access. For example, um, on the sales manager user, you are going to define VP sales as the manager. And maybe on the VP sales user, you are going to define CEO as the manager. So a manager can be from the same business unit as the user or from the parent business unit. It cannot be from a child business unit. So for example, if the user belongs to level B, the manager can be from level B or level A but not from level C of the hierarchy. So when you define hierarchy permissions, you need to define at which level the user needs to have access to the records. So that's about the manager hierarchy. Let's come on to the position hierarchy. There is an entity which is called position and you need to define those positions. For each position, you need to assign users. So the users who belong to a position can be from the same business unit or from the different business unit, unlike the manager hierarchy, where the manager hierarchy is from the same business unit or the parent business unit. Now you can define hierarchy depth, that is the level of uh, records that can be accessed. So in case you have three levels, let's say VP sales, sales manager, and salesperson. So the user in the VP sales would be able to uh, see the sales manager records in edit mode but the salesperson record in the read only mode. So the third level is always the read only mode. You can also exclude entities for hierarchy security. So you do not have to include all the entities, just those entities which are required for hierarchy security. And as we discussed, the manager or the position will have only read access to the third level record. Let's dive into a little more detail. Let's click on settings, security, and over here you will find hierarchy security. So click on that. And to be able to work with hierarchy security, you need to enable the hierarchy modeling. 
So click on this field and click on save and close. It might take a little time to save the changes. And once the changes are saved, click on hierarchy security again. And over here you will see that you need to select hierarchy model. So you can choose either manager hierarchy or custom position hierarchy. You cannot use both of them. So let's just first look into manager hierarchy and click on configure. What it does is it opens a list of enabled users for so for this example i have created um, a couple of users and have named them in such a way just to recognize the users it might not be the best example but uh, let's just go ahead so we have tq vp sales uh, tq sales manager user and a tq sales person user so um, in our example uh, the salesperson reports to the sales manager and the sales manager reports to vp sales so to define hierarchy, we need to first go to the lowest level, uh, that is the salesperson. And over here in the user information, you will see that there's a field called manager. So you can define the manager for this particular user, which in our case is the TQ sales manager, and you can save the changes. So when you close that, you will see that there is now a hierarchy icon over here. When you click on the hierarchy icon, you can see the relationship over here. So the TQ sales person reports to the TQ sales manager user, which means that the TQ sales manager can view and can edit the records of TQ sales person. So let's define the manager for this user. So let's click on the TQ sales manager and define the manager for this field, TQVP sales for this user. So when we click on save and go back again, now you can see the hierarchy icon on all three users. And when you click on the icon, so over here you can see the relationship. So the, the VP sales can see all the records of sales manager and can also edit the records of sales manager. However, the VP sales can only view the record of salesperson he cannot edit that so the third level records are all read only however the sales manager can also read the record for salesperson and edit the record but if there is another level down uh, then the sales manager can only read those records and not edit them so if we close this uh, you will see the hierarchy depth is defined as three over here so that is three levels you can define as many levels as you want. However, that is not recommended. We do not recommend more levels. We recommend the levels as low as possible because if you define more levels over here, it might lead to performance issues. So keep it as low as possible. Now let's have a look at another option for hierarchy security that is custom position hierarchy. So you can select this and click on configure. Now this opens an entity called positions. So you have to create the position in your organization. So let's click on new and create a position called CEO and click on save and create another position called VP sales. And the parent position for this position would be the CEO and then click on save and create another position called sales manager who reports to the VP sales. So now you will see that we have created three positions where CEO is the main position and VP sales reports to CEO and the sales manager reports to the VP sales. And again, if you click on the hierarchy icon, you will notice the relationship over here. CEO can view as well as edit the records of VP sales. However, they can only view the records of a sales manager. Now, similarly, the VP sales can view and edit the records for sales manager. However, if there was another level called salesperson, then the VP sales could only read the records of the salesperson uh, and not edit them. So the third level records are view only or read only. Now, once you have defined the positions, you need to assign users to that position. So let's say if we go to, go to CEO and add users um, to this position. Similarly, we can go to VP sales and we can add TQVP sales over here. 
and then we can go to sales manager and assign all the users who are sales manager so you got an idea what we are trying to do over here we have defined the positions and now we are adding users to those positions so there can be more than one users attached to the same position so this is all about the custom position here once we have selected a model the other model is irrelevant for us so similarly if we go back and select manager hierarchy now all the configuration that we did in the custom position hierarchy is now irrelevant so you can choose only one model at a time now once that is done you can also select the entities that you want to exclude for, from that kind of uh, hierarchy security model so by default all the entities are included but if you want you can just click on the entity select the entity and click on add or just double click on those entities and it will be added in the exclude entities list which means that this model that we have configured will not work on these excluded entities however all the entities which are available over here um, they will consider the hierarchy security for the record level access so this is all about uh, manager hierarchy and custom position hierarchy um, why don't you go ahead and configure them try to play play around with them and try to test various scenarios so go ahead and enjoy